Lawmakers are sounding the alarm tonight over flaws in facial recognition technology. One false match is too many, especially when people's lives are at stake or their freedom is at stake. In a recent test, 26 state lawmakers were falsely identified as criminals when their photos were compared with mugshots of people who had been recently arrested. CBS 13 Sharon Roger with the push to ban this kind of software from being used with police body cameras, Sharon. Yeah, Tony and Adrian, the ACLU has put this technology to the test to essentially prove a point that it's flawed, that it can and will misidentify people. Now, the fear in many communities is that it'll put vulnerable communities, the immigrant population, the Muslim group, people of color, at risk. There are real people who could have real impacts. Assemblyman Phil Ting and Reggie Jones Sawyer were among the 26 state legislators seen here falsely identified as criminals through a recent test by the ACLU of facial recognition technology. Too often minorities are confused for others. Out of 120 lawmakers, about one out of five was mistakenly matched when their pictures were put up against a database of 25,000 publicly available booking photos. What's troubling is, while this was an exercise, if this actually was used for law enforcement purposes, you could have 26 people be falsely accused of a crime, falsely arrested. Assemblyman Ting is now leading the effort with a bill to ban the use of facial recognition software, specifically on police police worn body cameras. It is particularly problematic in identifying women and people of color. Kevin Baker with the ACLU says at a time when police and community relations are already so tense, adding flawed technology on body cameras can be dangerous. Where if a law enforcement thinks that somebody that it's approaching them is a wanted criminal as opposed to a member of the legislature, that officer might respond very differently. But some law enforcement agencies argue the ban is premature. The president of the California Police Chiefs Association releasing this statement. Facial recognition software only helps narrow the pool of potential suspects, but does not make the final determination. Only a trained peace officer can make the final call. But for many, the potential consequences of a mistake could be the difference between life and death. False matches will inevitably lead to innocent people, including people of color, including immigrants, being arrested, injured, and even killed by police. Now, we checked, and Sacramento Police and the Sacramento Sheriff's Department do have facial recognition technology, but they don't have them on body-worn cameras. In fact, the Sheriff's Department said, though, that this technology is a valuable tool when it comes to investigative work. A valuable tool, but clearly still some things need to be ironed out here. Sharin, thanks so much for that live report.